Hello everyone, welcome to Yorpedia. This is Chandrasekhar, Faculty of Electrical and Electronics Engineering at Yorpedia. NPCIL result is out. Now it is a, a good time. I can say it's a high time for the preparation of interview. Yes, in Electrical Engineering through gate. Yes, through gate. Uh, yes, uh, they given the cutoff marks here. Cutoff, uh, I can say score. Electrical, it is uh, for unreserved is 635. For EWB is 481. OBC 551. SC it is 455. 455 and STD is 442. So NPCIL through gate uh, cutoffs are out. So those who are having cutoffs above than the mentioned, uh, I can say this uh, score are eligible for this NPCIL interview. So it is a very high time for the preparation of NPCIL interview. Let me tell you how to prepare for NPCIL interview in electrical engineering. In electrical engineering, the very important subjects with respect to NPCIL interview preparation are power systems, electrical machines, power electronics, networks, control systems. I can say electrical measurements. These are the five subjects you can keep. You can select other subjects like uh, analog electronics, digital electronics, uh, mathematics also. But make sure that you are perfect in that subject, perfect in the sense uh, you must have good basics and you must have good thought process with respect to that subject if any new question is asked in different direction you must be in a position to answer see for example i'll take one question from power system uh, the simple question is what is faraday effect uh, so everyone can answer this question but what is the reason for faraday effect what is the reason faraday effect is a great then immediately how to reduce faraday effect what are the methods to reduce faraday effect so this way means uh, first of all the question will be asked then it will be extended in multiple directions uh, they won't go too depth like brc brc the, the people will go very in depth right uh, i can say BR, brc uh, is uh, having very in depth questions compared to npcl but npcl is also par equivalent uh, with the brc in interview preparation right so i suggest all of you to prepare uh, in electrical engineering this just the first subject you can select as network analysis which is the basic for entire electrical engineering in network analysis also the important parts are like uh, sources dependent sources independent source what is the difference between dependent and independent and uh, uh, what is a practical example of dependent source like that and uh, what is a practical source and ideal source elements rlc elements their graphs the graphs are linear, non-linear, then theorems, especially in theorems, Thevenin's theorem, Natas theorem, and maximum power transfer theorem, and Sorbosian theorem. These theorems are very, very important. Then uh, it comes to AC analysis, uh, the basic uh, functions of AC, right? Uh, how to write a uh, basic AC voltage, what is this uh, angle theta, what it represents, what is leading, what is lagging. They may give two functions to you, which one is leading, which one is lagging. And the uh, phasor diagrams, especially in AC analysis, and uh, complex power, complex power, S is equal to P plus R minus jq what is p what is q what is the i can say what is the significance of p what is the significance of q okay and what is power factor what what is the highest value of power factor how to improve the power factor what are the disadvantages of low power factor this kind of questions can be asked and next place goes to transient analysis which is very very important and confusing in transient analysis about the rl rc circuits and rlc circuit series rlc parallel rlc and i can say about bandwidth resonance right half power frequency what are its uh, practical applications they will give some different different circuits so what this circuit is behaving like what kind of filter low pass filter or high pass filter or band pass or band reset how to understand these things can be asked from network analysis right so network analysis is the first subject i will tell you to prepare uh, second subject goes uh, electrical machines in electrical machines the very important subjects are very important machines are uh, uh, I can say a transformer and a synchronous machine. Induction machine DC are also very important, but practically if we use uh, transformers and a uh, synchronous machine, uh, especially synchronous generator, alternator, we use, uh, we use extensively. So transformer and alternator, after that you go for the preparation of induction and DC, right? Induction and DC. Then go for power systems in power system, especially transmission, power generating stations, especially nuclear power generation, advantages and disadvantages, what is the difference between fission, fusion, what is the material that is used uh, in uh, nuclear power station and, uh, and uh, what uh, this nuclear wastage contains, like that a lot of questions can be framed. Then uh, especially analysis, fault analysis, uh, stability analysis and load flow analysis. So these uh, three analysis parts are important. Right, uh, different kinds of faults, which fault is more severe, how the severity of fault is calculated, right? Then power system protection, very, very, very important, like uh, release. 
protective releases, circuit breakers, these things are very important in process of protection and uh, transformer protection, transmission line protection, three zone protection, differential protection, unit protection, non unit protection, like that uh, questions can be framed. But make sure that uh, you have to prepare in depth. Depth means uh, you must have utmost clarity on the topic what you are uh, studying. They don't want just the answer from you. They want answer along with the explanation. They, they want explanation also along with the answer, right? And the next subject is, uh, uh, I can say, power electronics. In power electronics, uh, uh, phase control rectifiers and various power electronic devices and uh, inverters, choppers. These are very, very important. And uh, uh, drives, power electronic drives. Yes, uh, machines plus power electronics uh, forms power semiconductor drives. These are very, very important. Then electrical measurements. In electrical measurements, the very important things are CT and PT, current transformer and power transformer. Right? Then uh, uh, it is important about uh, old meters and ammeters and watt meter, uh, right? Watt meters, energy meter, right? So these things are very, very important in, uh, I can say, in uh, electrical measurements. So the way you are preparing for interview is, uh, interview should be very much different from how you prepared for your, uh, I can say, written examination, gate examination. For gate examination, yes, you must remember the formula, applying the formula, calculation part, this is very important. But for interview, having utmost clarity on the subject, on the topic or on the question is very, very important, right? So all the best uh, to all of you, those who are preparing for the NPCL interview. Uh, so we, uh, here, we, Europedia, uh, will conduct uh, mock and snap interviews. Join your hands with your PDF to accelerate your preparation of uh, NPCL interview preparation. In your PDF, experts are there, they will take your snap interviews. Snap interview means uh, that is an interview of 10 to 15 minutes on each subject. You can give unlimited number of snaps to the faculties. Practice of interview is very, very important than just studying the subject. Right? And after that, mock interviews. Once you are uh, good in the snap interviews, then faculty will ask you to take mock interview. In the mock interview, the name itself says mock, means uh, it mimics uh, the, uh, the process of same interview as that of NPCL, mock means. So mock interview will conduct, uh, there will be three to four members on the panel. So they will conduct your uh, NPCL mock interviews. Like two to three mock interviews will be there for each candidate, those who joins uh, your PDA, this uh, NPCL interview preparation. Thank you.